In this video, we're going to cover cognitive dissonance theory. In general, individuals desire psychological consistency between their expectations of life and reality. When an individual holds two or more conflicting attitudes, beliefs, or behaviors, this results in psychological stress or discomfort that we call cognitive dissonance. For example, you can have an individual that wants to lose weight, but also wants to eat ice cream. These two beliefs are in conflict with each other because if the person wants to lose weight, they should not eat ice cream. And if they eat ice cream, that will not allow them to lose weight. Under cognitive dissonance theory, individuals will alter one of their attitudes, beliefs, or behavior to reduce cognitive dissonance and restore harmony. This can be achieved in multiple ways. First, the individual can alter the behavior to produce consistency. So considering the example before, the individual might decide that they will stop eating ice cream. In that case, if they stop eating ice cream and they want to lose weight, those two are no longer in conflict with each other. Second, the individual can alter the attitude or belief to produce consistency. So again, before, if they want to lose weight, but they also want to eat ice cream, those two are in conflict with each other. So the individual could decide, it's okay to reward myself with ice cream once a week. So since it's a reward, it's justifiable. And since it's once a week, they could also argue that they will still be able to lose weight. Third, the individual can add a new attitude or belief. So they might say something like, I learned about a new study showing that eating high sugar foods lower weight. So now with this new attitude, this is in harmony with their previous beliefs. If they believe this study shows that eating high sugar foods lower weight, then they can eat ice cream and they can lose weight. No problems there. Another way of adding a new attitude or belief would be to say, I will go to the gym to make up for eating ice cream. So this person acknowledges that eating ice cream is not good, but since they will go to the gym to work off the ice cream, they will still be able to lose weight. Finally, the individual can also ignore or refute information that conflicts with an attitude, behavior, or belief. So this could be a person that says, I don't believe that eating ice cream will make me gain weight. They just completely ignore or deny information that conflicts with an attitude, behavior, or belief. Alternatively, the person can also say, I don't think the studies showing that eating high sugar foods is bad are reliable. So if they are refuting information that goes against their beliefs, that can also produce harmony and reduce dissonance for the individual. Okay, so that's cognitive dissonance theory.